Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Well, after that little 15 yemi ha with no power uh, video videos um, we sure took the long way around getting there but um, we got there um, it's a shame about that little Yamaha and uh, it's funny how uh, that whole thing played out and uh, for me um, as a mechanic on outboards um, it was somewhat frustrating uh, to say the least um, if you broke that down that whole series of events to finding the issue with that uh, little Yamaha. Um, I was probably working for about uh, negative 50 cents an hour. No doubt. But, um, learning experience for sure. So I thought after going through that with the little yammy that uh, we do a little bit of just good fun boat stuff and uh, lighten up things around here. was a boom, so I took me a little stroll over to the Red Dog Saloon. I walked through the door, and the music was clear. The prettiest voice I had heard in two years. The song that she was singing could make a man's blood run cold. When it's dream time in Alaska, it's 40 below. It was red-headed Lil who was singing so sweet. I bent down and I pulled the snow packs off of my feet. I reached for that gal who was singing that too. We did the Eskimo hop. All around the saloon With a caribou crawl And a grizzly bear hug We did our dancing On a Cody at road And that song that Lil kept singing Could make a man's blood run cold With springtime in Alaska Well it's for below as innocent as a man could be. You see, I didn't know that Lil was a big ass bride to be. It pulled out that knife and he gave it a throw. When it's springtime in Alaska, I'll be six feet below. Yeah, when it's springtime in Alaska, I'll be dead. Cold and frozen. It's gold. Do you like Boston Whalers? You remember me in that little 13 foot waterlogged Boston Whaler? 
about two videos ago. So you like them Boston Whalers, huh? Now that's a Boston Whaler. That's a Boston Whaler. So, I want to say a big welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome, everybody! Um, if you look at my attire, as you can see, the fine folks at Super Clean reached out to me and, um, thought that what we do here on the channel, and uh, I guess they see me out there elbow deep in schmutt, grease, mold, mildew, and creepy crawlies. And they thought, hey, we got some products that uh, we think could uh, probably make your life a little easier, and how would you like to review some of our products on your channel? And I said, Super clean. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. So, they reached out to me, and I'm glad they did. And we are going to be putting uh, some of their products, not all of them, um, to the test. And we will see how they do. And the opinion I give on them will be honest and straightforward. And I will film it. To where there's no breaks, no cuts, so you can see for yourself what they do or what they don't do. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we'll do some of that in this video. Like I said, not all of the stuff that they sent me to try, but we are going to try one of the uh, first products that they got right here. And uh, Tough Tass Cleaner Degreaser. Super easy, super fast, super clean. So, I just happen to have a little problem that came to me from my buddy Charlie. And I thought, this would be good to put that to the test on. So we're going to do that in this video. But like I said, after banging my head on that Little yammy, I wanted to do just a good old boat stuff, fun, lighten up kind of video. I hope you enjoy it. That's what we're going to do. Let's get started. <laughs> Yeah. 
you can see how bad the top of that center console is there. So we're going to give this super clean. We're going to give it a try on just the top. This is a nice console. Uh, I'm not sure where my buddy. So I sprayed it on. We're going. It's the destruction. Say let it sit there for. I don't know how long it said. Said let it sit there. Okay. To uh, cover the surface with super clean. In appropriate strength. So I guess you could dilute this if you didn't want it real strong. Allow time to dissolve, but don't allow it to get dry on the surface. It don't say scrub it, but I'm going to scrub it. It don't say scrub it. But I'm going to scrub it. That's what I'm going to do. I got some brushes. I'm going to work it into a smather. A slather. I don't know how long I'm supposed to let it stay there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that set, but I'm going to keep the camera running. We're going to look at some other things. That's what we're going to do. So, oh, I have been neglecting him. I have been forgetting to tell you. Fred. Well, let's look at Fred. Fret got all his bling on. Look at that. You see all that? Ooh. Now old Fret. He says it's a uh, 
a state holiday. Um, and that uh, he said that uh, he used to serve in the FLF. And I said, the FLF, what is that, Fret? And he said, that's the Frog Liberation Front. He says he's decorated. Well, I don't know about all that, but I know he sure is a handsome, pissed-off, one-eyed porch weather frog. As nice as the weather is out today, he should be smiling, but no, that's Fred. Hey, there it is. That's the one. I've got the Cabarepa on that Suzuki. In my ultrasonic cleaner. Look at this truck going. Very nice, huh? No rock dirt. But I got to get in that boat of mine and do something about them wooden bench seats and all. They're peeling. Shoot, it's a nice day out. I might even. Scrape on them a little bit and paint them. Just do some fun boat stuff. That's what I want to do. So. Things are slowly starting to. Turn a little bit green around here. If we look at the old lawn. You can see. It's starting to green up. Going to be mowing that pretty soon I think. So. Yeah, and then I need to get my DT40 out for a good run. Maybe catch a, some flatfish, some flounder, or some rockfish. I want to do that. And then I need to repair the handle on my salmon net up there. Got a lot of work to do. Got a lot of work to do. So I need to be looking at those things. And then, I just don't know which outboard I should bring in and start next. I mean, I do want to get the uh, carb cleaned on this little Suzuki here that was gifted to me and see if it's going to run. And uh, the guy brought this Tahatsu by and I ain't in no hurry to get on that thing. And the reason why is because he said it had been sitting for over 10 years. Well, if it had been sitting for over 10 years, it can set a little longer, can't it? That's a terrible attitude. That's a terrible attitude. All right, I don't know how long we're supposed to let this here super clean soap, but I'm gonna rinse it off. Let's see what we get. I got a hose, yeah, I got a hose. Somewhere. If I don't break it. Well, it certainly is an improvement. Got all that mold and stuff off there, so I'd say it worked good on the mold. I don't know if I let it set a little longer. Will it do a little better on the rust stains? I couldn't even see those rust stains um, before. But, uh, yeah, as far as the mold, I mean, that was very little effort. And once I do the whole console there I think it uh, would be quite the improvement so seems like a very good product
all know what it means when I wear the hat. It means somebody came bearing the gifts. Yep, they gave me a couple nice ones. Fella said, hey, friend of mine left the island. He was storing these over at my place. I don't have a boat. So, rather than take them to the dump and pay that fee, I thought you might want them. Yep, I want them. Let's go look. There's the first one. That would be a 55 commercial. Very popular motor around these parts. But look at this. Look at that propeller. That is a stainless steel piece of beauty. Yep, I want it. Rather than it go to that dump. Don't look too bad. Seems to be all there. The throttle seems to be all froze up. Somewhere in the cable, the handle. Or, but I'm not going to stress on it because I could probably get it. Pull cord don't seem to engage. It's all salty, but she turns over and got good compressionis. But that's, the dogs are probably, I could probably tap on it and get it going, but it, it'll all come off and get cleaned up. But uh, clamps are free. Got the primer. Twin cylinders, twin carbs. Beefy commercial. What's not to love? Beautiful motor. Beautiful. Okay, let's go look at don't go to the dump freebie number two. Here she is. I believe this to be an Evinrude. The identification badge on the transom is gone. And I don't see a head plug on here with the number on it anywhere but this old motor is very clean and it turns over as well heck I believe this one will start right up it's got good compression I believe it'll start right up um, looking at the setup when you've got the cable style throttle with the man overboard kill button out on the end of the throttle and the side shift That'll put it at around 87, 88 because they didn't come up with the moving the shifter around to the front until 1990. Going by memory here, but I know it's right at 1990. So that puts this one, I believe it's a 30 horsepower. Uh, really clean. Yeah, really clean motor. Nice. She's pretty. But yeah, um, fella come in, yeah. I don't need them. I don't want to take them to the dump. Well, you don't need to take them. I will be happy to own these motors. Have to do something about the appearance of that there bonnet. Which we can do, but that's freebie number two. So, thanks for coming along for the journey, and please hit that like, and subscribe, and for all you new folks, come join us. We have some fun up in here, and as always, that's one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.